Hello everyone, what is happening? I'm your host Eamon Hassan and welcome back to another video here at Most Amazing Top 10. As you can probably see, we have a special guest on Top 10 today. This is Jocelyn from our new channel that we've recently started called Top 10 Beyond the Screen. What's up guys, my name is Jocelyn or you can call me Joss and thank you so much. I am so excited to be here. I'm excited for you to be I'm here. So excited. <laughs> okay, well, why don't you tell us a bit about what the channel talks about? What do you, what do, you do? Yeah, so my channel covers basically Basically everything that you have on your screen. We talk beyond the screen, so I'm talking Netflix, I'm talking TV shows, I'm we talking movies, all the good stuff. I mean, we all spend all our time exactly. on Netflix, so. I, I know I do. I know I Literally. do. Literally, <laughs> as soon as I get home from work, yeah. Netflix on, popcorn yes, out, exactly. here we go. <laughs> if you're not into urban legends and scary stories and that's not your thing, but you're a movie and TV show fiend, then here you go. <laughs> movie and TV show fiend are right here. <laughs> Speaking of, have you seen The Meg? I have. What do you think of the Meg? I mean, it's terrifying. I never want to go in the water again. <laughs> I, I never do. Jason Statham, like Ruby Rose, it's not happening. That thing exactly. was so scary. Terrifying. Massive sharks. That, that's what we're talking about, really. As always, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Top 10 Hindi, and hello, go subscribe to Top 10 Beyond Screen. What are you waiting for? But let's just get straight into the video. This is the Top 10 Scary Creatures More Terrifying Than the Megalodon. Here we go. Starting us off with number 10 is the Helicoprion, also known as the spiral mouthed killer, terrorizing the seas nearly 300 million years ago, and thank God for that. The Helicoprion was a bizarre species of shark that had one of the craziest sets of teeth in natural history. Its unusual feature of teeth has always been a huge debate in the scientific community, and it's easy to see why. The only fossils that have been found of this animal contain sets of spiral teeth, and scientists are still trying to figure out just how they would possibly fit into a shark's mouth. What they do know is that, like many modern sharks, the Helicoprion most likely had to replace their teeth pretty often. Many images online show the terrifying shark with a buzzsaw mouth, but some scientists believe that the tooth spiral may have actually been located inside the shark's throat. Gross. I don't care where those teeth are located, all I know is I don't want them anywhere near me. Coming at number nine now is the Mosasaurus. Honey, if you thought the Megalodon was big, you ain't seen nothing yet. The Mosasaurus was a prehistoric marine reptile that grew up to 60 feet in length. Now, the max possible length of a Meg was 60 feet, but that was the biggest of the big. Most Mosasaurs reach at least 55 to 56 feet, so both are pretty much the same size too. It existed during during the late Cretaceous period nearly 70 to 66 million years ago. The name itself means lizard of the Meuse River and it was dubbed as one of the most dangerous animals in the water during the Cretaceous period. Like these things did not come to mess around. They lived near the ocean surface and ate mostly fish, turtles and other smaller mosasaurs and they didn't like to dive too deep into the water. The mosasaurus itself looks sort of like a gigantic emphasis on gigantic crocodile that just had fins. If you want a good indication of what this creature looked like, you can see it very clearly in Jurassic World in the scene where the people are watching the water and the Mosasaurus leaps out and eats a great white shark. And that was probably just a light snack before lunch. At number 8 we have the Jacolopterus. What's worse than a scorpion? A sea scorpion that's bigger than you. This creature was known to be a predator nearly 400 million years ago and was probably willing to eat anything small smaller than itself. Rumor has it that included members of its own species. This creepy collar grew to over 8 feet long. I'm 5'7", so let's put that into perspective. Anthropod is a group of species that includes insects, lobsters, and crabs. This guy is the largest discovered species of the whole group. They also had a huge spiked claws that could kill a fish with ease. Experts believe that they would ambush their prey with their claws before tearing their meal apart. There's an image I didn't need in my head. Filling our number 7 slot is the Quetzalcoatl Atlas. Yeah, don't worry, even when I saw that word, I was like, how on earth do you say that? But anyway, this beast was a pterosaur from the late Cretaceous period and is one of the largest known flying animals of our world. That's a heavy title to carry. Think of this creature as a pterodactyl on steroids. Their wingspan was known to reach anywhere between 40 to 52 feet wide, and its minimum wingspan was 36 feet. The Quetzalcoatlus also had a very long, sharp pointed beak 
and they would mostly eat like any modern day skimmer. Even though at their size they could probably kill anything that may have been roaming around with them at the time so let's just be real. They'd catch a lot of fish during flight while skimming the waves and they didn't actually have any teeth. Which is good for us. However other people speculate they didn't skim at all and in fact ate like scavengers. There's not a significant amount known on the species but one thing's for sure. If that thing is 15 times bigger than I am, you can bet your ass you won't find me anywhere near it. Now at number 6 is Titanoboa. If the movie Anaconda scared you, you might want to skip this one. As simple as it gets, Titanoboa is the largest snake that ever existed. I am speaking in past tense because yes they are extinct and yes I am happy about it. This massive snake grew to more than 40 feet long and could weigh up to 2,500 pounds. To help put things in perspective, that's almost as much as a grown giraffe weighs. Huge. Similar to the anaconda, they can fit their entire prey in their mouth with just one swallow. And I'm not talking about little mice, I'm talking deers, jaguars, and yes, even humans. Apparently this terrifying creature appeared not long after the dinosaurs went extinct. I guess the world needed a new top predator. I think I'd actually prefer having a dinosaur around. Coming at number 5 is the Liopleurodon. Now this creature is another carnivorous marine reptile and it is a type of plesiosaur. The name Liopleurodon itself means smooth sided teeth. They lived during the Colovian stage of the middle jurassic period and they were literally the apex predator in the sea near Europe at that time. The largest one ever recorded was a bit over 33 feet long whereas the average size of them is somewhere between 16 to 23 feet. They also weighed a ton, I'm talking 2000 to 4000 pounds. Their teeth were around 7 centimeters long and the animal itself was mainly found near England and France. The beast had 4 strong paddle like limbs which made it very good at accelerating especially after whatever prey it wanted. If something that big and that fast came after me in the water I would just let it take me honestly. There would be no point in even me attempting to swim away. The Liopleurodon would probably laugh at me in that scenario like I myself would be a joke. At number 4 is Megatherium. When we think of sloths, we probably think of cute cuddly animals that sleep all day and mind their own business. A sloth isn't exactly the first thing that comes to mind when I think of deadly monsters. But the Megatherium was more like a modern sloth in giant size. Not only was it giant, but it was also known to be angry. It behaved like a sloth, sort of looked like a bear, and was about the size of an elephant. And no, I'm not exaggerating, it was huge. Unlike an elephant though, this giant sloth also had giant claws and could stand on its hind legs to appear even bigger to other animals. This is one sloth that I have no interest in petting and turns out I wouldn't be able to anyways because they were extinct over 10,000 years ago. Filling our number 3 slot is the Thalatoarchin. Now this was a type of ichthyosaur and it was alive near western America during the middle triassic era and it was known to be the oldest known marine reptile that was also an apex predator. I feel like I'm saying this about every animal. Funnily enough we have all our information about this creature from one single holotype, the FMNH PR3032 that was found in 2010. So this is a pretty recent discovery, go science. The total length of a Thalatoarchin is around 20 28 to 30 feet and it was actually one of the first marine predators that was able to eat prey as big as itself. Their teeth had two edges that could both cut through prey so either way whatever it's eating is getting torn to shreds big time. I wish I could say more about how it lived and how it ate but not enough is known about the animal for me to do so. I mean it was only formally described in 2013 so give me 5 years and I'll come back to this one I promise. Now at number 2 is the Scolopendra gigantea also known as my biggest fear. If you are deathly afraid of centipedes like me, then this one will make you cringe. It's the largest centipede in the world, growing to a whopping 26 centimeters, also known as 10 inches. They've been found in the central part of South America. Super thankful right now that I live in Canada. Not only is it huge, long, and creepy, but to top it all off, it has modified jaws on its head, which can trap and deliver venom to its prey. Its usual prey is mice, lizards, and frogs 
but if you happen to get bit by one of them, it can cause severe swelling and fever. Their venom is toxic to humans. The fact that this one isn't extinct is a complete nightmare for me. And finally, at number one is the Leviathan. Now, this big boy is actually an extinct genus of sperm whales, and it got its name from the sea monster Leviathan. Go figure. It was mostly found near Peru and South America, and it was around during the Tortonian stage of the Miocene epoch, which is around nine to eight million years ago. It was a hyper predatory sperm whale, and it was low key, actually, no, not even low key, it was a high key and apex predator. It grew to around 44 to 57 feet long, again, nearly the size of a megalodon, and the tallest tooth ever recorded from one was more than 14 inches big. That is the largest tooth ever recorded of any known animal. Its teeth were very deeply embedded into its gums, and they also interlocked, which helped them hold struggling prey, like they need any more advantages. According to Discover Magazine, this creature lived during the same time as the megalodon, and it actually ate other whales that were 20 to 40 feet big and competed with the Meg for similar prey. If you can't find something scarier than the Meg, then find something just as scary. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this list of terrifying creatures. Let us know in the comments below about which one you'd avoid at all costs. I'd pick one, but honestly, I can't even decide. What about you? I can. The giant centipede. Yeah? I can't do it. I cannot do it. That is mine. And it's still real. It's, it's still, still around, South America. Yeah. It can still come get us. I will honestly. Be <laughs> Thank you for coming on the channel, Jocelyn. It was so fun having you. And everyone, definitely make sure to check out Top 10 Beyond the Screen and subscribe to it too. I've been your host, Eamon Hassan. And I am Jocelyn. And we'll see you next time. Bye.